In today's video, I'm gonna put all of this into this. Don't believe me? Plus, I'm gonna do a full review, including how to install this bad boy on your electric scooter, and then we're gonna go for a ride and put it to the test to see how it performs. But not before I somehow figure out how to put all this back inside here. All that and more coming up on today's Hobart's Reviews. Hey friends, welcome back to Hobart's Reviews. My name is Hobart. So after getting my electric scooter, I needed an electric scooter bag that I could take things with me, like some water, some tools, a bike pump, maybe even a bottle of slime, just in case I got a flat tire. So I went online and I ordered the Nan Robot waterproof hard shell electric scooter bag. And I must say, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Now the scooter bag attaches to the stem of your scooter and also your handlebars, which provides a nice stable mount for the scooter bag. Now it's got that EV a hard shell case so it will protect things like your phone, your car keys, a water bottle, a bike pump, and all the other things you have in there just in case you get in a crash. Now speaking of accessories inside, there are several compartments to separate your valuables from your tools. You've got one large pocket up against the stem that can hold larger items like your bike pump or a bottle of slime. You have a small pocket in front of it to put small things like charging cables or your keys. And then on the other side, you have another large pocket with a net. So there's plenty of room inside this nanorobot scooter bag for pretty much anything you could possibly need. Now you've heard me say waterproof and yes this nanorobot electric scooter bag is waterproof so if you ever get stuck in the rain you don't have to worry about your valuables or your tools getting damaged by water. Now nanorobot says that this is completely waterproof but not to submerge it in water for a long period of time. Now Nanrobot also gives you a USB cable port on the side of the bag so you can still keep your valuables or your tools protected from water while still using a USB cable for an accessory or maybe to charge your phone or your headlight while you're riding by using a battery bank inside your bag. Now Nanrobot says that this can hold up to seven kilograms or 15.43 pounds of weight. That's incredible. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to put this thing on. So Nanrobot gives us a nice groove in the back for the stem. You have these two straps up top for your handlebars and you have the two straps in the middle for your stem. Now what I like to do is I like to put it on the stem first, leave them a little loose, bring it up to the handlebars, put those on, and then go back and adjust the ones on the stem. Let me go ahead and show you. So it's super simple to put this thing on. You just put the first strap through the loop, get it kind of tight. Same thing with this one down here. Put it through the loop, get it kind of tight. Then I'm gonna slide it up to my handlebars here and I'm gonna take this strap and I'll put it through this loop. And then I'll do the same thing over here with this one. Make sure you go under your brake cable so that you're not squeezing on those. There you go. Now we just go back, snug those up a little bit more if they need it, and you're ready to go. In just seconds, you got this baby installed. Now it's ready to put all your valuables and your accessories and your bike pump and slime and everything inside, which reminds me earlier in the video, I did promise to put all that stuff inside this scooter bag. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll take it for a ride. We'll put it to the test and see how it performs. Let me remind you, there are a few things that you're not gonna see me put in the bag that were in the bag when I came down to my location, including the camera that we are currently recording on, which is the Insta360 X3. Also the Rode wireless microphone system, my lav mic was in there, a carbon fiber pole about 12 inches long to give me a little bit more height on my collapsible tripod, which was also inside the bag. So all of those things were in there including these items like for instance you got to have a bike pump and you got to have a bottle of slime right so we're going to go ahead and put that bike pump and that bottle of slime in there now you also got to have a bottle of water just in case you get thirsty no it's not empty it's a full bottle of water we're going to put that guy in there speaking of flats you just in case your slime isn't going to fix it you got to have one of these yep i got an extra inner tube in here as well when it comes to tools, you gotta make sure you have the right tools and enough tools. So I've got my spanner wrench for my suspension. I've got a full set of metric Allen keys to go for pretty much anything on the scooter here. I've got a hose extension for my air hose and I've got not one but two adjustable wrenches so that I can get my wheel off if I need to to replace a tire or an inner tube. So we'll go ahead and put those in there. I'm gonna start to kinda get this thing somewhat closed. I've also got a couple sleeves that I found that Nanrobot sent me. I'll throw those guys in there. I've also got this little bracket here, which I use to take my, uh, my camera with me on my handlebars. So I'm gonna use that here in a minute, but I'm gonna show you that I can put that in here as well. And finally, the Insta360 
extendable selfie stick. That guy goes in there as well. Now it doesn't go all the way in there, but it does go in there enough for me to be able to, there we go, close it up. And I'm ready to go. Now, if I took the selfie stick out of there, yes, it would close up all the way and keep things waterproof, but it doesn't need to close all the way for my to be able to have my selfie stick because as you can see, it's a beautiful day out here. I don't have to worry about rain, but there you go. All that stuff inside the Nanrobot hard shell electric scooter bag. So now that I got all that in there, what do you say? Let's go for a ride and we'll test this baby out. All right, so we're out cruising right now. Got everything in the bag except for the camera. I replaced the selfie stick with the tripod, so it's still jam-packed full of stuff. And so far, so good. Nice and sturdy, not moving around, and it's got lots of weight in it. I wouldn't say the full 15 pounds max, but shoot, there's got to be at least 7, 8, 9 pounds in there. And it's solid as a rock. All right, so now I'm on some sidewalks here that are a little bit more bumpy than that last asphalt walk that I was on a minute ago. And if you look down at the scooter bag, solid as a rock. A little bit of a jiggle, but other than that, it ain't going anywhere, which is wonderful. It fits so perfect to the scooter. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today. I do appreciate you. And if you like this review, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell. So next time I put out a video, you will be notified. I also put a link in the description for this scooter bag from Nan Robot if you want to go ahead and buy it. I appreciate you joining me. My name is Hobart. Have a great rest of your day.